I'm officially worried about Blueface. And I know over the years, he's made a good number of mistakes. Recently shooting at someone outside of a nightclub being one of them. Some of his antics and decisions are definitely questionable to say the least. But the more footage that comes out of Blueface and Krishan's relationship, the more I realize that Blueface could actually be the victim. He's being corny right now. <laughs> What you doing? What do you mean? Are you breaking shit? Don't beat what? me up. What? Don't beat me up. Please don't beat me up. Don't hurt me, please. Now I know that we obviously don't know the relationship behind closed doors and what they're actually like off camera. We don't know what goes on, but there are so many red flags. Krishan is a mentally unstable girl who went through a lot growing up. And I'm sure Blueface did too. And he's the type of guy that doesn't want to deal with shit. He's not going to take shit. He's not going to be disrespected. Adding those two people together in a relationship is just never going to work. And I know Blueface has definitely done some wrong in the relationship. I'm not saying he's innocent in the relationship. I'm just simply pointing out that there's a lot of footage that shows that Krishan is actually more toxic one out of the two of them. So here's this clip of Blueface on their show just messing around showing how he walks and approaches girls. You feel me? You gotta pick your pants up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see you, baby. I see you. Don't look at that. You look at pop yeah, like a I motherfucker. See you. All right. you see me? I see you. It's Mama Mo. Why are you acting like that? How are you making it about another person and you're with me? How are you making it about another person and you're with me? This is an argument that like 15 year old relationships have when they're like really obsessed with each other. Blueface funny as fuck. You, girl. <laughs> What's going on, baby? What's your name? So now he's doing it to her. Can I, buy, can I buy you a type. drink? That is crazy. Why? Can I buy you a drink? Can just like a linebacker. With my dick, like... You ain't like my walk? Can you be for real? All right, fuck it. Come on. My walk was way better than yours. See, that killed her whole mood over him pretending to catcall a girl. That's imaginary. The girl doesn't fucking exist. I don't want to walk anymore. Go ahead. She is crying over this. You finna start crying. Oh my god. Give me a drink. Hey, let me get that Migos, bro. Let me get a shot for the crybaby. See, and this is where Blueface kind of makes it even worse. He called her a crybaby. He's getting alcohol involved, which whenever you put Krishan with alcohol, she makes shit a million times worse, as we could see on the Kai Sanat stream. Man, weird shit. You don't got Give me that. I don't know. I mean, that stream is a fucking disaster. I don't know you. Huh? I don't know you. Yeah, my nerves. I need a bathroom. Can I stop filming? Can I stop filming? Can I stop filming? I mean, this is just astonishing. Why is she so hurt over this? Play with my dick in front of everybody that's not you. What are you talking about? There's no. It's people with cameras. It's the funny. It's niggas sitting over there in the corner, and you fake playing with my dick. What are you talking about? Are you getting me lit for what? Because we need the this. Fuck? Take a shot. You're being weird. Yeah, telling her to take a shot. Horrible idea. I don't think what he did was that serious. It's showing how he crip walks and shit. Complete overreaction for what Blueface did. If he did that walk and he was flirting with a girl that was actually there, maybe a little bit. Yeah, that's crossing the line. It was an imaginary girl. Remember about two months ago, there was footage of Blueface sleeping Krishan's dad. Like he punched the fuck out of him in the middle of like a street in Baltimore. Well, this family brawl finally got released on their TV show and it shows what led up to it. At first I was like, man, Blueface looking kind of down bad, punching someone's old ass father. Well, now I'm kind of on Blueface's side a little bit, dude. <laughs> Oh, just a tad. Basically, this footage is Blueface pinned up against the wall with all of her family members yelling at him. Her sister, her brother, her other sister, her mom, her father, yelling at him about putting his hands on her. Basically yelling back at them. Things that are respectful majority of the time being like, I only ever defended myself. I don't approve of any of this. This is all fucking psycho. This is all toxic. They should not be together. If some shit like this happened to me, I'd be out within 60 seconds, never seen again. So here's when Krishan's father walks up to him and Blueface is respectful. I'm a fog. I'm a fog. Nice to meet you, fam. You know what I mean? What's your name? I, I, shut up, man. Wait, that's your boy? Yeah, yeah. What's don't your do that. Do ever what? Again. Don't touch my daughter like that ever. So you teach your daughter to put her hands on me? See, they, it's like cut really quickly, but they were having a nice little civil conversation and they're really aggressive about him putting her hands on her. I understand that. Obviously, I don't approve of that whatsoever, but at the same time, you got to hear his perspective and he's not yelling in their faces or anything. He's not being extra like they were. Really civil, trying to talk it out and her family just wasn't being civil and they swing first. 
If anything, I thought Blueface would swing first. That's why at first when I saw this incident, I thought he definitely started it and was provoking it, but it was definitely her family that made it way worse. <laughs> So I'm not gonna show the punch there, but her dad punched Blueface out of nowhere. This is like a meme now. Look, 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 he said, there you go right there. So he sees her dad that just punched him walking around the van and he sees an opportunity. He's not looking. He's gonna run up on him and just clobber his old ass. There we go right there. Now, legally, I don't believe this is self-defense at this point. He already got hit. It was like 30 seconds in between the punch. So he's already not being attacked anymore. So legally, this is actually not self-defense. But in like the hood, it's about respect. If someone hits you, you're going to try to get your hit back. That's what people are saying. You know what I'm saying? School, you are. Tell him what's happening. Come on, they finna come up. Alright, this schoolyard crip shit, Blueface is saying is low-key funny. I know it's like, I should be laughing at this old ass man getting clobbered. Don't get him all it's way. Over, fam. We good, we good. You gonna block this and get off. And now this is the point where Krishan's sister is attacking her a lot. You can tell she's really hurt about it. This is where I kind of feel bad for Krishan. A little bit. Not too much, but it's like, she's clearly hurt by all this and her family's just like kind of going ape shit. <laughs> Honestly, this is just good TV. Blueface, I'm slowly starting to see your vision here. Find the most toxic girl of all time, date her for a year or two, and just make so much goddamn money off like reality TV and OnlyFans and going viral on Twitter. It's kind of genius. This is just a recipe for incredible reality TV here, boys. That's what this is. <laughs> Bitch is a gremlin. At the end of the day, I just don't think these two should be together. They're going to end up either in prison or dead. I see people saying they love each other a lot and that they can get past it. And I think that relationships like this never work, especially when it's at this level of toxic. Beating each other up every two weeks, like it's just not going to work. They need to separate. I'm worried for Blueface at this point because he seems the more level-headed out of the two. Honestly, he really does. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Fucking love you guys. See ya.